All right, welcome to the next part of the building a budget computer. We're gonna go ahead and hook everything up now. That's about all that's left. Everything else is mounted in place, except for our video card. We're gonna go ahead and do that last. We don't want the video card in our way while we're trying to get to some of these connections down here. Um, so I always put the video card in last. Um, go ahead and untie your power supply cables now. Now I want to go ahead and go over something here when you use, I would recommend using zip ties when you actually tie all these cables up if you do. Um, I don't think we need a bag of uh, silica gel, so we'll dispose of that. But these ties that come with uh, wrapped around like your power supply cables, they have a wire inside of them. Never ever 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 use these inside your case. Um, you want to use like plastic zip ties that are all plastic, don't have wire uh, in the middle uh, to help avoid shorts because eventually this plastic could rub up against the fan um, and it could scrape off the plastic and then you have bare wire and with bare wire inside a computer that can be bad, that can cause all kinds of shorts and sparks. So I've never seen that happen but definitely, uh, definitely don't want to see it happen either. So for that matter, make sure you never use those wire ties. Uh, wire, wire twisty ties inside your case. Okay. You want to go ahead and get all your cables undone, kind of sort them out. And what I like to do is I like to plug in the most important cables first when I actually work. Not that, I mean, all of them are important. You want to make sure they're all connected. But if, for example, you don't plug in the main power connector, you're definitely not gonna have no juice. So what I like to do is go ahead and, a lot of times this is way longer than you need it, go ahead and get that connector out the best you can. Now some of these are 20 or 24 pin um, connectors. You'll see that this one, I could, if I had a 20 pin connector, this is 24 altogether. If I had a 20 pin connector, I could simply take this end loose right here by sliding it out. Um, oh, and it just actually pops off on this one. Some of them actually slide off the top. This one actually just snaps right on, just like that. But it usually comes all together for a 24 pin connector. If you don't need that for your motherboard, you would simply take that other four pin connector off. So with this motherboard though, looks like we are gonna need all of them. So we'll go ahead and get that access cord out of the way the best we can. Now on this, you'll also see that one side of it has this um, catch that you can actually push on the other side to open that up. That catch is actually gonna go on your motherboard right down here on the power connector. And if you can see, there's a little lip right there on this side. Don't know if you can see that. There's a little lip right there. That's where that catch is gonna go on that power connector. So you wanna make sure you line it up so that it snaps into place. So, try to get some of these cables out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. And I don't think you can because the memory is in your way. So, try to handle it here. Show you what I'm doing here. It only goes in one way. You'll see that some of these are square. Sorry, sorry about that. You'll see that some of these uh, pins are square, have square connections, and some of them have rounded edges and they alternate. So if you look down here, you'll have square and alternating uh, rounded connections. So that means that this can only go in one way. If you try to put this in uh, bass backwards or ass backwards, however you want to say it, uh, it would not fit in. Okay, so you'll want to go ahead and line that up properly with a catch on the right side. And push it down firmly until you hear it snap into place. And this one already did snap into place, we just didn't hear it. To make sure, you can always just give it a good pull and it shouldn't come loose. Okay, so now we have main power connected. The next connector that you're gonna wanna look for is this four pin connector over here. And you're gonna wanna look for that on your power. Uh, it's got four pins right there if you can see that. Okay. 
line this back up so you can see. In a moment. Now we'll look for these four pin connectors here. We see that we have some, sometimes you gotta be careful. If you see a four pin connector, you might see, uh, see them lined up. But make sure you'll always look, a lot of times they're labeled. This is PCI Express, that means that's to power a video card or other PCI Express component, usually a video card. So you wanna make sure that you don't use those even if those give you an option for four pins. You'll wanna look for another main cable if I can get all these disconnected. I mean, un, un uh, wrapped up, you'll see you have an eight pin connector. Usually these will come out like this from your power supply and it's eight pins. It doesn't say PCI Express anywhere on it. That's the one we want. And you'll want to go ahead and just pull those apart. Sometimes they pull apart. Sometimes you'll want to pull them back. Um, sometimes they'll actually come apart like this. So here, same thing. You got a snap on uh, tab and that'll actually go over the ridge onto our four pin connector. We can see on this four pin connector that the ridge is on the same side as the other one. So we'll just go ahead, doesn't matter which one you use, now that I've split them up into two sections, either one of them will work. And you'll wanna go ahead and put those in like that. Okay. Now we've got our two most important cables connected for the motherboard. The rest are gonna be power connectors for either SATA or uh, IDE connections for power for our DVD drives, any CD drives or Blu-ray drives you may have, or for your hard drive. We'll connect those in just a uh, moment. Before we do that, I wanna go ahead and get these front panel connectors connected. And usually on cases, even a cheap case is gonna label uh, these particular connectors, what they are and where they go on your motherboard. Every motherboard is different, so no two motherboards are gonna be in the exact same position on you know where you're gonna connect all these, but most of them usually are up in the lower right-hand corner somewhere in here. Okay. So I like to find the one that's split up in a lot of different little sections like this first. They're all labeled as you can see power SW is power switch, reset SW is reset switch, we got a power LED ne le uh, negative and positive, and we got a hard drive LED indicator indicating that the hard drive is working uh, from the front of the case. So we'll go ahead and get those connected first, and usually they're labeled pretty well on the, they're just real small print on the actual motherboard itself. So what I like to do in this case, this is why I said hang on to your motherboard book. You'll go ahead and look in that and you'll look for those diagrams of how those go in. All right. And usually somewhere it'll actually give you a diagram, a close up shot of those connectors where everything goes on the motherboard. And here we go. All right. Speaker connections, serial ATA connections. It is right here. System panel connector is what you'll want to look for. Let me show you here. And the video can see this, get it right side up maybe. Okay, so it's under system panel connector here. It actually shows you a close diagram of that connector. It's easy to see on the motherboard but you can see that it actually diagrams which pins are positive, which pins are negative, and how those go on. Now, a positive connection for a switch, it doesn't really matter, um, or a light, doesn't really matter, positive or negative, but it's a good practice to go ahead and start getting used to putting those in the right uh, polarity. So, basically, when you're looking at things, usually these are, usually these connectors are different colors, the wires are different colors, and the colored one would be positive, the non-colored one would be negative. Okay, look in here. 
we can see that I don't know if you can see that or not that's a close-up shot of kind of what that looks like in your book um, don't have enough light here for the camera to be focused in real well so sorry about that there it goes there it goes it's a little more focused now you can see that's our system panel connector it actually shows you like the bottom left is HD LED positive and then HD LED negative ground and uh, your reset switch and then on the top you get your power LED and power button okay with a light shining on it maybe you can see the connection where this actually goes it's right down there the black connection in the bottom right right at the edge of the uh, board and that's where these individual um, connectors will actually connect. So let's go ahead and start with the bottom since that'll be the hardest to get to. Let's go ahead and start with that HDD light. And we can see that on the HDD light the positive goes down at the leftmost and the negative goes at the right next to it. So, here's our HDD LED. Again, this isn't going to matter a whole lot on the polarity because it's just a light. But just so you know, usually these are colored, like one will be white or black, and then the other will be an actual color, like green or blue or something. The one that's not a neutral color, the one that's blue or green or red or whatever, will always be your positive. Here it actually labels them, and you'll see that one of these actually has a whole bunch of um, negatives right on it and then the stripes on it different colors uh, on the bandwidth here on that HDD light uh, right here on this the right side that is your positive so we'll try to align that positive there so that it is correct And I know you can't see what I'm doing here. It's just too dark inside this case. But we've now got the HDD light on there. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to align these connectors with exactly the diagram, exactly how it tells you to do it. So we'll be right back after that. All right now guys, now we have got all of our um, those connectors for the front panel connected on that one. Want to take a look at any other front uh, cables coming from the front panel. This one, some of the cases will have a lot more than these, uh, more complex, but this one we'll see we only have two more. One's a USB and one is an HD audio. So you'll see that these will only go on one way. They actually have, if you look up here, one of the pins is not there and same thing for the HDO audio uh, one pin at the top here is not there so it should be pretty easy to align those and those are less difficult than the power LED and the power switch and all those so you'll go ahead and look for those connections you'll see that right here you have three different USB lights or plugins so you'll find your USB there and these cables out of the way here you'll see that right here uh, on one of those pins the lower right one pin is not actually there so when we plug this in we will look for the one that's not there and align that to go oh the only way it can actually go 